So hello everyone and uh, welcome to a spur of the moment ID proposed by still <laughs> Yeah, I do have a few Nobunaga's ambition game. There are well, I find them pretty fun. They're not for everyone, of course, but uh Yeah, so um pretty much spur of the moment ID. I'm going to be playing through Mega Man X this Honestly, shouldn't take that long. I've played it recently. We're not putting Rookie Hunter mode on. So let's just get started. <laughs> I don't think we need to see this intro. We've seen it a few times. I'm actually gonna see how semi quickly I can go through the game and now I need to remember the controls hey Ray right I can't dash yet <laughs> at least I can shoot pretty fast oops yeah that's the problem on ps4 touching the freaking touchpad that's kind of annoying <laughs> Especially when you're trying to rapid fire. Not that I need the health for now, but anyways. <laughs> Alright, first hit. <laughs> this is no longer a perfect run. Ah. Uh, Maybe I can. Uh, I'm not sure if I can from here, though. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't want to see the control. I want to turn off the touchpad. <laughs> okay, doesn't look like I can, unfortunately. By the way, for anyone who doesn't know for some reason, there is some health here. Not that you really need it, but hey, it's there. Might as well use it. Uh. This has always been a fun game. I used to really suck at it, but now I'm I'm okay at this one at least. Can't say the same for the other ones, obviously, but this one I'm okay at. Pretty sure I'm better in this game than I am at Mega Man 3, and eventually I need to go through that. Oh yeah, these freaking things. These robots are always annoying. They're always in your way. I mean, technically taking damage is a speedrun tactic because you will need to be hit less by vial, but eh. I think for fun, I'm gonna see how much time I can survive against Vile, even though it makes... There is no point in doing that. Nah, this is totally not a speedrun. A flame mammoth glitch? What does that consist of? Yeah, I'm not gonna survive very long against him. And he should be shooting his thing now. There we go. Yeah, you need to use the uh, Boomer Quanger weapon. And actually, if I remember right, there's actually an achievement by doing that. But I've already got it, because I'm pretty sure when I... Th this one game in the collection is the only one I went through. 
when uh, I went through it on my own. But uh, yeah, that I got. I'm pretty sure I got all the achievements for this one. And yeah, one of them was um, getting <laughs> cutting the trunk. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna save. No matter, doesn't matter. And of course, we're ch starting with Chill Penguin. But um. Oh yeah, I I kind of remember that now. I think it's not that hard to pull off either, if I remember right. Well, unfortunately, yeah, uh, homing torpedo, as far as I remember, is far from being the best of weapons. But, um, it has its use, mostly boomer quanger, but still. Yeah, at least I'm pretty sure it does better than in the DOS version. Not that that's very hard, mind you, but... Oh, okay. I think yeah, I know what you mean. I think they say Horming Torpedo or something like that. Alright, time to get the dash boots. I like to horm. <laughs> yep. I mean, if I finish this game pretty quickly, I might just play something else afterwards, I'm not sure yet. Hey, my charge attack, okay. Yeah, I remember now. I think there's also something that if you're... Oh, nice, extra life. Uh, if you're using a charge attack and you unleash it while you're dashing, it does more damage? I don't actually remember for sure. Eh, I'll just use this uh, right armor because it's cool. And of course, the jump doesn't register because it's cool. <laughs> And you have to get off. And we do have to come back, because there's a power up there, anyways. Uh... Yeah, I did remember there was a robot thingy there. <laughs> oh, Major Sucket strikes back! Alright, can I no hit run chill penguin? He's not that hard, but I always suck at this fight for some reason. At least when I don't have his weakness and I'm weak as fuck because I don't have any upgrades. Ah, right. I need to do this higher a little bit. <laughs> to jump. Ah, I did that too slow. Ah. Yeah, laugh all you want, you jerk. <laughs> so far, I am no hitting him. Wow! 
<laughs> I'm actually surprised I was able to know it in. I mean, as I said, I, I usually am too cocky, that's the problem. But hey, so far no death, so I'll take it. Shotgun eyes. It's a shotgun, it is made of ice. And now, technically, I think the next guy is Flame Mammoth, but we're going to do Storm Eagle. We should be able to get all the power-ups here. And we're certainly gonna try. Unfortunately, it's not like in the DOS version where some of the enemies don't respawn here, but... Eh, this is still a better version than the DOS version. Not that that's very hard, mind you, but still. I think there's also a glitch involving the Boomer Coanger weapon for this level, but anyways. Uh, hard container right there, that's pretty great. But <laughs> We shall get going. There's usually two or three upgrades per level, and uh, this one is no exception. Now, here's something I'm surprised not that many people know about. When you kill this thing, if you stand on this, it goes up, and you can just blow this thing up. I'm not sure why no more people know about this. But it certainly is a thing. Alright. Now to respawn, okay good. I don't think there's nothing down there, so I don't think I need to go there. One of the main problem is why I'm not a speedrunner is that I don't abuse weapons. I should do that, and to be honest, I've kinda learned the route to do it in Mega Man 2. Oh fuck. <laughs> this is a. Uh... This is possible. It's easier with the um, fire weapon, but it is possible to do with just a buster. You just, you just have to button mash like crazy. All right, down there is the last upgrade for this level, which of course we need the dash boot for. That, that's why we got them already. Yeah, to be honest, uh, I'm doing a strange order, is because I'm going for um, the X-Buster upgrade early. Speaking of that, I think there's an achievement to actually get the X-Buster from Zero instead of getting it from the capsule. It's uh, pretty annoying, because that means you need to go through the first part of the first stage of Sigma with uh, no... No weapon charge, which means you can't just cheese it with a charge rolling shield or something. Anyways, free extra life here. Ah, uh, metals. Good old metals. I know they come back in other uh, X games, but um, it's still pretty unusual to think about. Okay. 
These guys don't damage you until they explode, and fortunately, it does take a while for them to do that. Alright, there is this cannon. <laughs> That sure was a thing that transpired. <laughs> and it's time for Storm Eagle with Buster only again. Oh yeah, it's Spark Mandrill that's weak against uh... He's doing this attack. I have shitty timing for this attack. The burbs. Damn it! Freaking... Oh! <laughs> Gotta be careful! To not get cocky, basically. Oof. There we go. Still no deaths. So yeah, with the storm weapon in hand, we are totally going to get the X-Buster upgrade immediately. Which means we're going to flame Mammoth. And hopefully I... I can... do it... early. Else this is gonna suck and I'm gonna have to come back to the stage. And because we already did chill penguin, well this stage is frozen. It was frozen today. I think if you go up there, that's how you trigger the glitch. I'm not actually gonna do it. But just as an information part thingy. Alright, uh... Yeah, it's not yet. Oh, never mind, it is. Okay. So, up there is the X-Buster upgrade. Can I do this quick? Yes! <laughs> Second try! Alright, I'll take it! And with that, Eggs Buster powered up! <laughs> so now we can actually charge our weapon as well. And if we go down here. Hard up! <laughs> Alright, now that things are good, let's move on.
And now for the final upgrade of this level already. And I'm failed completely. God damn it, touchpad. <laughs> Yeah, laugh all you want, you jerk. <laughs> you only hit me because I was derailed, okay? <laughs> there we go. And yes, we get our second eat e sub tank. I almost called them eating, but that's not what they are. There are sub tanks in this game. Oh, and nice. With that, we've actually filled one of them. Oh yeah, the press! Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel! <laughs> okay, hi... I don't think there's anything important in this area other than these jerks. I always sucked at dealing with them. Fortunately, usually a fully charged uh, X Buster should deal with them. Usually. And there we go. Time to use those tornado skills that we learned. Even though I can take care of Flame Mammoth easily, I should not be as cocky as I am right now. There, but there we go. Unfortunately, eventually I'll have to take some deaths, but not right now. And with that, it's time to actually go do Spark Mandrill. Let's see how we do. Unfortunately, we will have to come back to this stage because there is an upgrade that's lugged behind Boomer, Boomer Quanger's weapon. But that's fine. Also, it gets dark here. Yeah, and this is what we need from Boomer Quanger. Alright, I need to go back up. Oops. Originally, it looks like these robots don't actually respawn when you kill them. Not sure why. I always want to advance carefully here, because I know these freaking things can easily throw you in the freaking ditch if they want to. I'm surprised I dodged that. He can go ditch, here's one right now.
Pretty sure this is not its weakness, but it takes care of it pretty quickly. And now comes one of the most annoying upgrades in the game, if I remember right. I'm not sure if it's this level, if it's another one. it was now. Maybe I'm thinking of another level. Uh, no, I certainly am not. Here it is. Oh, fuck. I actually got it. Okay. When I was a kid, getting this upgrade was a nightmare. No, it's not as bad, but eh, I still don't like doing that. Ah, I thought I could dodge that. Oh well. It is annoying how it gets dark all the time, but you know. Ah. About these guys. ah! <laughs> well, first dead about with stupidity. There we go. It was bound to happen eventually. And hey, it is entirely my fault, I will admit. Should have been more careful. I'm just rushing because I want to get back to where I was. Fortunately, I shouldn't have to fight the demi boss again. There's at least that. Yeah, I was dead. <laughs> All right, gotta remember there's gonna be a thing. I got the thing. Hold on a bit. Just want to check something. Oop. Wrong button. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this this one always gets me. I'm pretty sure. But we've made it. It's time for shotgun eyes. Can I do the pattern that will stun lock it in place? Cause yes, if you time your things well, you can easily stun lock this boss. Yeah. I I filled the timing there. And now it doesn't matter because it was dead anyways. He's dead. Electric spark. And with electric, it's time for the armadillo. Because, well, I don't know, they conduct electricity badly or something. You tell me. Yeah. 
There is, however, something special with this stage. Well, actually, two things. But one of them we won't be able to do right now. Well, let's just show one of them. Yeah, that's a bottom bat. And... The thing special with them... Is that they will usually drop an extra life. I'm being unlucky now, but they usually do. Uh, one more. I just want one more. Okay, there we go. Of course, when you're going through this normally with the uh, platform and everything, you wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily see that. But it is there. This is the easiest way to grind lives in this game. If you absolutely need to. Okay, it's the thing. I will just rush, because I can destroy these things. Yay, I destroyed it before the spikes. One thing with the X uh, series is that you have a inner sub tank. And uh, no, it was energy balancer if I remember right. Oh, speaking of some things, two of them are full. Perfect. <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure if I missed the special item already or not. Hmm. Uh, okay, didn't mean to actually do that. Oh well. I guess we'll go the slow way. Pfft. Snipe from the one end of the screen. Good. I'm so glad. Yeah, this is definitely not a speedrun. If it was a speedrun, I'd be dashing all the freaking time, and I'm definitely not. <laughs> I need to destroy this thing, like, now. Alright. It did not drop anything, so... Let's just grab our hard tank. Yeah, now I'm actually pretty sure I missed something. I think it was a sub tank. Yeah, we're at the end of this stage, because there's the burbs! And uh, later on, there will be something here, but not right now. As long as you can dodge his initial attack, he's not that bad, because afterwards he's out of his carapace. So you can just use the spark shot multiple times. Even when he's doing the ball thing. And there we go. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed something. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is supposed to be a sub tank in this level. I think I'm just gonna go grab that and then... 
then we'll move on. Because at least you already have access to the uh, escape module. You don't have to find it or anything, it's just there. You just need to finish the level first. There's the button bat. At least I'm pretty sure that's their name. Maybe I'm forgetful. I wouldn't be surprised. Yep, I sure missed it. Let's just get out of here. And not press the freaking touchpad. Uh, okay, rolling shit. Oh, fuck, it's Launch Octopus. Well, it's time to get those orming torpedoes, guys! It's the best weapon. All oh, right, there's these spider thingy thingies. Um to be honest, this level isn't that bad. I used to completely hate it, though. <laughs> I say that, then. <laughs> and I get hit by everything forever. Yay! I took a risk there, I wasn't sure if it was dead or not. But it was, so here we go. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have just switched to the tornado. Wait, I restart to this jerk! Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> At least by doing this, I'm doing it the safe way, somewhat. Alright. Uh, does this thing activate? Yes, it does. Okay. There is some elf up here. But of course... That's not the most important part. Pretty sure the most important part is right here. And... Actually, no, it might be further on, but... I'm actually curious, I want to see what's up there. And of course I can, because I suck! Yay, return of major suckage! Okay. By doing that, at least, I mitigated most of the issues, but, you know. And, uh... 
Now we're up to a fight that uh, caused a lot of issues to a certain someone on the DOS version of this game. But of course if you use Tornado it's actually not that bad if I remember right. Of course I gotta hit the goddamn thing. Uh, okay. The main thing is when you're in the sky, you need to make sure you don't hit the freaking. Uh... Actually, isn't this the only upgrade in this level? It's kind of weird to think about it. But I think it is. But now we've got take two of this dragon. But it isn't much of a threat this time. Wow, an extra life. Alright, thanks. Okay, this guy's annoying, and his w weapon weakness is a piece of shit, so, yeah, let's have some fun, shall we? Yay! Oh, thank you, MillyMellow88, for the fall. Just in time to watch me fail at freaking launch octopus. <laughs> yeah, I might as well just take the hit. <laughs> uh, but let's let's move on. I'm surprised I'm dodging it so well this time. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better fight, honestly. If only that fight would have happened earlier. Pretty sure I had more than the, what I lost that was left last time. But we get... Horming Torpedo! <laughs> I forgot about this goddamn typo. Alright, so Horming Torpedoes goes against Boomer Goinger, so this is our next target. Wow, not even one hour in this stream, and then we're actually approaching the Sigma levels. Not too bad, I guess. Except we still have these jerks to <laughs> deal with. can't go up forever, you know. There is a hard limit. Mega Man Gear Solid, and I failed. <laughs> not going too bad I suppose. I'll just wait for these to get away. I'm doing pretty okay so far I suppose. It's 
part's kind of annoying. There is a pretty funny glitch you can actually perform in here. If you get hit and get squished, you won't actually die. But you have to be pretty much at the same time, I think, for that to happen. I'm not gonna showcase it unless I need to somehow come back to this stage. I don't think I will. Because uh, the upcoming upgrade can be gotten with what we have right now. It is pretty annoying. It would be easier to just come back with Boomer Coinger's weapon. But I'm gonna try anyways, because that's always how I got it. I'm pretty sure back in the days, uh, whatever guide I was reading actually mentioned that that's always how they got it, because they wanted to minimize how many times you have to go back through stages, so... There we go, I guess. Uh, just need to get going then. I think we have one less. Nope, not the platform. Okay. We actually need shotgun ice. And we need a decent area to do it. And that was not it. Okay, this guy is gonna piss me off if I don't get take care of him, so I'm gonna have to. I think I have to be closer, actually. Okay, there we go. You can just decide to come back with Boomer Quanger's weapon. You're probably better off doing that, to be honest. But I like doing that, because... Uh, you don't get to use that very often, I'll, although there are some glitches you can perform with it. Uh, I almost squished myself. <laughs> uh, I th thought it went to the... to the side, but I guess not. Okay. I'm surprised the shot actually disappeared. I'm getting surprised a lot tonight. But we're already up to the Coinger himself. Stop teleporting everywhere, you jerk. All right. Seven out of eight, and I suppose before we do the last stage that we need to do, it would be a good idea to go back and get what we didn't yet, including um, including stuff in, I think it was Chilled Penguin and Spark Mandrel stage. Spark Mandrel will be shorter, so let's start with that. Just a quick, uh, let's go get the thing and get out. So, for sure that's gonna be the quickest one. And of course, getting hit by everything forever, because I'm awesome. It's kind of weird how the, these things work. Uh, if I remember right, uh, 
when you're actually going down, that's how they go downwards. But if you're if you're standing or jumping, and while you're going up during the jump, it goes up. I think that's how it works. But uh, eh. Funny how I'm getting hit more now than I was when I actually went through this stage earlier. And again, I wasn't trying to rush things up, so that's probably why. Alright, one more sub thing. I don't think you need to fill all of them. You just need to have them to be able to get the uber secret of the game. I think in other games you do have to have them full though, but I might actually lock out and have them full anyways. I guess we'll find out. Well, if I keep getting a big uh, energy drop, that certainly will help. And of course, these jerky robots that laugh at you. Because of course. Might as well just jump up here immediately. Cause, yep, that's our art tank. We're done with this. Oh, it's almost full. And we have only one more stage left, so it's probably gonna get full before we have to get the Uber secret, so. Sting Chameleon, a stage that uh, I don't have that great a memory with, but eh, it's not that bad. It is a little bit annoying, but it really isn't that bad. I am here, but I have to wait until ad goes away. Oh, <laughs> freaking Twitch ads. Not even sure why I have them. I'm not even a partner or an affiliate. Cause we will be destroyed. Oh! You're gonna get try to get the armor. Yep. Funny enough, speak of Mega Man X, there's actually a Mega Man X randomizer. I wouldn't even be surprised. There's a randomizer for every game these days. I mean, if we can have randomizers for uh, Pokemon typing and everything, I'm sure there's a randomizer for Mega Man. Just hearing Pokemon typing, I'm now reminded of Typing of the Dead. Which one of these well, days you need to play? That's not exactly what I meant, but... Uh, um, because I remember that... Uh, I saw a video of, I think it was like a Fire Red randomized. Ah, okay. And um, the starter Pokemon was a dragon type Wizmer or something. Also, I, also I, I like that, the, that you only have like a small area you can shoot that guy in. Yep, that head. It's like I All picked right, your doctor. I took from this thing. I just pictured the doctor one. like this puts that there. It's like he'll never defeat this robot to get this armor. Oh, he did. I mean, how the hell did it burrow, and how the hell did it know to come out at the point where? <laughs> I think Doctor Light just put that there just to fuck with you. 
pretty much. He just said, oh, you want this armor X? You have to fight this robot, and if you die, it's all your fault. Now X, I'm gonna do a... Uh, boom boom with that robot, and if you die, it'll be your fault. Alright, I can Heart. never get back from this part. Can Kill I actually yourself! Do it would help if I could dash and... Oh, ho, 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 ho. the save! Alright. I'll take that bl blank of my screen while I was loading a game as a yes. <laughs> yeah, I was able to save myself. Just barely, but... And now you continue on your adventures now that you have full armor. Yep. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have all the upgrades now. Other than, you know, that secret one. Are you gonna try to get it? Of course. But then you can adoken people to death and you can just somehow one hit K KO Sigma with it. Yep. And then uh, trigger the meme of uh, you cheated, blah blah blah. You cheated not only the game but yourself or some bullshit. Oh, yeah, that Forget was from, how that uh, fucking meme goes, but goddamn, seriously, just play the fucking game out the way you want to. And if the game yeah, gives you something, definitely. you're meant to use it. So why well, not? Well, the meme came from. Well, the meme actually came from that Seiko game, which somebody modded to allow it to be a little easier. And I mean, that's. That's fine, you play the fucking game the way you want, it's just that... As long as you're not... In this case, as long as you're not able to uh, get achievements, I'm okay with it. I don't see the problem. Typing of the bread. Yep, I'm gonna be getting the Iluken. Uh, okay, I need the cutter. I must not use these days the warming to... torpedoes. One of these days you have to get the I am the bread and you... the game where you have to get into a toaster and not fall on the ground. Or else you ruin your freshness. Your edibility. Alright, that was a pretty okay chameleon fight. I could have probably done that better, but eh. Shit happens. It's interesting when I looked at the concept art for Sting Chameleon, I just noticed that one of his. Chameleon Sting! The thing I kind of liked about the X collection, you get to see all the different concept art. But it's just crazy that Sting Chameleon has one chameleon eye and one robo eye. <laughs> and I then mean, Zero I tells you, we found the base! Yep, well, we have other unfinished business to do. And let me see, how many lives do I have? Oh, I'm maxed out. Okay! <laughs> I don't need to grind the bottom bat then. <laughs> yeah. I'll say this this stage has my favorite song. It is a pretty good song. I'm pretty sure we can all agree to that. Pfft. 
Oh, by the way, the guy that made that stupid freaking uh, you cheated not only yourself but the game, didn't he do a like a, another post saying, "Oh, I'm playing Fallout 4 modded," which was like ironic because he called out someone on modding a game. But anyways, well, I would not know. I I'm not in the circle. I'm not in the circle of Dark Souls and all that other givens. Me neither, to be honest. Well, it's not the same thing at all. I've played the I Wanna Be the Guy back in the days, and uh, yeah, stupidly fucking hard games are not for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't get it before I broke that. Anyways, not that it really matters, but hey. And now it's gonna tie be time to die four times here. The good thing about it is, as long as you, even if you take a hit, if you have a lot of energy tanks filled, you can just heal yourself. Before you get up there. Yep. As long as you not reach there by the time that, maybe as long as you heal before you reach there, you'll be a okay. That's the problem. I'm playing the PS4 version, and uh, the freaking touchpad when you're trying to button mash, it's kind of annoying. I just picture that. That mechanoloid, if they actually had uh, motions, they'll be like, ah, Why did you shot my booty? At least, unlike the DOS version, I can shoot multiple times, even though I have the other thing charging thing. Out. The irony is, I actually beat Mega Man X because of the DOS version. Uh huh. That was the one that. That was. And also, X was the very first Mega Man game I ever beat by myself. I did beat three with a friend back when I was doing sleepovers. Oh, that's cool. I mean, three is not the easiest. Yeah, we stayed up until like three in the freaking morning just to beat it. The main Each problem with turn. 3 is the fact that uh, instead of one boss order, there's two of them. Which I still find weird up to this day. Yeah, plus you, uh, you not only you beat the Robot Masters, then you have to beat Break, man. Then you have to beat the Doc... Actually, you beat, you beat the Doc Robots before Break, man. And to be honest, Break, man is a joke. And then after, and then you fight the Wileys. Yep. And, and then the final boss, you have to use Bubble Lead or else you're gonna die. Uh, no, that's in two. Oh, yeah. I, sorry I'm confusing my Mega Man. <laughs> I, um, I've played enough uh, Mega Man 2 enough. to know that. I played in... But yes... I am confusing my Mega Man's and I'll go to Mega Jail. <laughs> oh, there's one Mega Man game I would love for... There's a couple of Mega Man games I really there want them to go. bring on the PC. I give you the special present. Enter the capsule, X. I will teach you... I will download the Hadouken into your brain. I mean, he's a robot, that's what he does. Well, yeah, we have the Adoken now. Mega Man Poo? <laughs> yes! The Lost Mega Man game where we meet Mega Man Poo and he's a sanitation engineer. 
Yeah, it would be kind of nice. I never played the Legends game, but it would be cool would be, to they see They are that. pretty fun. Though I am saddened that they never made 3, and I'm... And so, yeah, but that's yeah, but... mostly because of all the internal issues that happened. Oh, yeah. Which is quite unfortunate, because uh, I heard that game was supposed to be really promising. But, unfortunately, the miracle never happened. I just did a Phoenix Ride joke. Well, if they do release Mega Man Legend 1 and 2, they have to re release Misadventures of Tron Bon in that pack. Guessing that's an expansion or something? It's a... It's a... Sci it's a side story slash prequel because it takes place before Mega Man Legends and you are you're you're Tron Bon and you're just trying to to pay off a debt that your brother Teasel owes. Oh by the way screw this part. <laughs> I'm using the invincible thing. The cool thing about it though is that the in that game I'll let you not die. But yeah, the coolest part of that game was that you can you can train up and level up your serve bots, uh -huh. which makes them a little bit more effective in the field. All right, there we go. And you can even get. And if you like a serve boss so much, they have like a little red cap that you can just put on your favorite one. It's like, here you go. I'm going to name you Jiffy. <laughs> I wish you could do that. Just rename the serve bots. I would just name them weird names. To be honest, it would be nice if a lot of games let you customize some names. So, another game I would love to have brought into the PC oh, is Mega Man X Man Mission. Glitch. Oh yeah, that was that was actually pretty okay. I personally I've never finished it, but I know my sibling did and I need to finish it. I have I actually have that game. I just haven't finished it yet. I mean, you need to dedicate a lot of time. It is an RPG after all. I will say say though that I, I've always made the joke about X's design in that one. Because I love the design, but I do make the joke saying, Now he has pants. A decent pair of pants. I don't need to force myself. This is an impossible battle. Just let him punch your face in a few times. <laughs> This it's like you're running and saying, show. kill me, kill me, kill me. I'm on vile, you know you want to kill me, jeez. There we go. <clears throat> and then Zero jumps out and... Blows up his butt. Basically. <laughs> I must use the bomb in my butt! <laughs> it's time to explode, because why the fuck not? It's not like I'm gonna be back in the seven other sequels. That was some bad gas. Yes, he had... He had Reploid Tacos. Ah, Alright, time to fight him the normal way. If I remember right, rolling shield is his weakness. Which sucks, because that's a shitty fucking weapon. The only cool thing about it is just the... Uh, Imperial shield. And the fact that... Uh, the bonus effect if you charge it is actually pretty good. No, I've been defeated. I'll be back in X3 and oh, then X8. No. 
Oh no, Zero is dead. And if I didn't have the X Buster upgrade, he would give it to me now. Yeah, I'll just rip off his arms and then just attach it to your arms. Well, he doesn't give a shit, he's dead. Although apparently, according to that one guy, they ref retcon his death and uh, I think it's, uh, what's it called again? Maverick Hunter X, I think it's called on PSP. Yep. Well, I would have... Unfortunately, I've never I've played never... that one. I did play it a bit when I was over at Steel PH's house. Ah, God damn it, these freaking things. Okay. Oh, the Pipe of Doom, you could say. I'm not even gonna bother trying. We're just gonna do this and do that. Ah, fuck. I'm out. God damn it! Fuck this fucking part. Okay, there's the ladder. And I think it's Boomer Quanger. Yes, it is. Oh, that one, okay, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's true, there is a mode where you can play as Vile in that, yeah. Honestly, I'd probably get the game just to try that. Because I'm really wondering how they made that work. Are you fighting Sigma or are you fighting X? God damn it. <laughs> How am I somehow so healthy? Holy shit, I actually I might be able to one shot Bo Spider. Let's try it. The deadly robot spider that is totally not not in Mega Man the cartoon. Ah, fuck! <laughs> That's the only thing I hate about fighting that spider is just trying to get him. Okay, I think his weakness is shotgun ice. And of course I'm at the wrong fucking place. God damn it! How do I fuck up so much? Okay, he can't be here for sure. Just that trying to read the freaking path. With the little time you have before it starts moving, it's kind of annoying. Well, it's ra randomized, so it's just like... I mean, it's... I'm not gonna say it's a hard fight, because it's really not. But... If you, if you get bad RNG, it can suck ass. It's not... It's not a bad... A hard fight, it's more of an annoying fight. Yes. And so I, if I could, I would have liked to Hadouken the fuck out of him. There we go. Still got him, though. And unlike that one guy, I didn't take a phone call during the playthrough, so... <laughs> Alright, Sigma Stage 2. I think it's a bunch of refight, then rang the bangda, if I remember right.
Chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> you open yourself up to that one. Yeah, I did. I'm not even gonna deny this. Oh, like the bird, the uh, bird, the cannabinoids that just turn around and they they just, just look at you and they start throwing their mohawks at you. I forgot to dash. <laughs> Is this where all the deaths are gonna come from? <laughs> Jesus. Oh God. I hope not, because I would not like. Because I just picture that pitch as has an... God just lots fucking lots damn it! Alright, cheap strategy. Fine game. Fine. Didn't want to use it, but you gave me no choice. Yeah, fat robots are just like... <laughs> Don't care. On the bright side, they just die easily by that. At least the bottom bats do. Uh, well, not the bottom bats. I forgot what these bats are called. Hucking touch bat. <laughs> I will say this though. At least it's not X3 with the squishy doors of death. Hey, chili penguin. Well, if you continue to do that, I'll gladly oblige with more flames. I mean, if that's the game you want to play, chill penguin. He just wants to show you his hook. Yeah, I remember that they gave him a interesting voice in the OVA and X Hunters, since they gave them all voices for each of the Mavericks. Yeah, I I remember that. He's going. Ah, ah, ah! Now steal his robot. Introduction of right armors, which did not exist in the DOS version. <laughs> For some reason, Steven Rosner could not program them. I'm interested in seeing all the different types of right armor. Like in the first three games, you have the, the ones with the chicken feet. Then afterwards, you have the the humanoid looking ones in the PlayStation Mega Man X games. And then seven you had freaking Gundams. And then the last one Oh well, yeah, Gundam and Spidey Dudes. And then the X8 you just have like a hybrid of the X3 and the X6 ones. Well, well X1 to 3 and X4 to 6. Well, that one was a pretty cool right armor. Just with the big screw you, screw you gun. Oh. Uh, the DOS version is pretty much the same meaty, it's just that you're using a keyboard instead of a controller. To be honest, I could always uh, link you to uh, Psychedelic Eyeball's uh, playthrough of it. He, he, did, he went through the DOS version thanks to me because I somehow added the, I somehow had a copy of it on my computer, so I gave it to him when his version did not work. Come well, think of it this way. Okay. At least that we're not playing the the other Mega Man DOS games. <laughs> yeah, with Fat Mega Man. 
And being chased to death by... In the first ep first level, being chased to death by a tiger robot. We can't stop here, it's bat country. Oh shit, it's rang the bang da already. Alright. The face of doom. A buzz that's for some reason came back in the X5? Yep. I think it was X5. Only that one decides to add spikes to the sides and kill you. Yeah, because this fight was not hard enough in the X5, of course. On the on the bright side, if you bring the uh, what's that call again? The the armor that you can just r run on spikes on, you'll you'll be invulnerable. Wasn't that in X6, though? No, no, they had one in X5. Hmm. Somehow I don't remember that. They do. They had two armors. They had the one with the... You had the flight armor, and then you had the... You had the falcon armor, and then they had a thing. I think it was called the shell armor or something. But yeah. You needed it in order to get some of the items in the stages. Oh but yeah, one, oh, by the way, the music in this uh, level I really like, actually. Oh yeah, the Sigma pretty... level music is pretty good. Oh shit, that's right, I wanted to try the freaking uh, skip method for this guy, I forgot to do it. Well, I need spark. doesn't matter, electrocute his face and steal his armor. Well, I don't really steal it. I know. I mean, as in just... He just loses it. It's he loses like, it forever. Well, I can just picture X... Well, no, wait. That's not his personality. It was Zero, he'll probably collect for Violet. It! No, I can just picture if it's Zero <laughs> or Violet, he'll, he'll just collect the armor that falls off of him as a trophy. <laughs> and it's like... Yeah, they'll just put it on and say, You! I'm the armadillo now. Well, I don't need this recover anymore. And this is Chameleon. I did that too quick. I did that too slow. There we go. Now I got the pattern. There was a version of X5 for PC? Huh. I will get... oh. I'll still get these. If I can. And this is Spark Mandrill. I'm to hopefully stun lock him again. That's not stun looking him, game. Okay, he was getting dangerously close, but... Wow, PC version of X7. How fantastic. <laughs>
Gee, I wonder who the boss of this place is. Considering there's water everywhere, it should be easy to figure out. Come back with cookies and then you fought Watch Octopus. Yep. Oh, you use the boomerang cutter, you can just take his arms off. It's pretty funny. Huh. I didn't even remember you could do this with him. I know about the I like that you take off his arms and he's like, Ah! I can't do nothing! Here, missus! Cool thing is you you get rid of uh, some of his abilities from that. Yeah, it looks like it, anyways. Oh, so it's the PC port of X7 and 8 on the 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 collection. I wonder if that's oh, yes. true for the uh, all the versions. Well, the good thing is that they have different for the uh, for X7. You can actually use the. Oh, so much for that. Anyways. Oh, speaking of Flame Mammoth... It's time to go this drunk! Turn him into a piggy. <laughs> I think it's three times you have to hit with it. Yep. It totally is. And he's like, damn it, X, now I'm a piggy. Good thing that once you get the armors, the boss in this game don't do that much damage. Other than Valgal, they're same Seymour. God damn it. Too much too many steam dams. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, Valgal dear Sigma, I think does a lot of damage, even with the armor on. Uh, well, Being of steam hams, I actually saw a new one that they took the... Again? That's definitely not that. Oh, it's Cutter. Oops. I want to heal before you die. Eh, I'll take the death. I want to keep all my sub tanks for Sigma. You do know that before you meet him, he has an area you can charge up your tanks, right? Yes, and it sucks. God damn this boss. It's not even that hard. You just suck. Like... Like that, essentially. I'm actually out of weapon. Is it... Is it bad I just picture that inside that robot is a me tool that is just like... Heavily damaged, and he just wants vengeance. It could be. <laughs> Game theory is the boss from stage three Sigma in the Mega Man X One actually a metal out of vengeance. <laughs> what you don't like the <laughs> the burn to the ground? <laughs> it's the best. I usually wait until I get at X so then I can just wipe the floor with him. The cool thing is about this collection, if you want to keep those voices but also want to make sure that your weapons actually do crap, you can play the European version since it has the damage 
systems for has the damage uh, code for um, the Japanese version, so your guns actually do stuff. <laughs> Which that's how I played X7. Pooch goes boom. I make Sigma go boom. Can I do it? It's possible. Well, I won't be able to do it on Valgaldir, but here we go. <laughs> A funny thing with Valgaldir, I'm not even sure if the Adukin can actually kill him. But more importantly, there are only two weapons that do damage to this guy. And one of them is Rolling Shield, which is actually his weakness. The other one is a fully charged Super X Buster. I'm not even taking any chance at this point. Ah, fuck. This is not the worst Valgaldir fight I've had, but good lord, I'm sucking bad at it. And once again, not taking any chances. Yeah, you have three tanks, so I would just say go for it. Go for broke. Yep, whatever that means. God damn! This is the worst Valgaldir fight I've had ever since I was a kid. God damn. Of course, I'm on camera, so I'm sucking shit. There we go. Game done. Eh, ah, one hour, 30 minutes. I suppose that's not too bad. Probably could have done better, but that's not too bad. Are you ready for X2 now? And not tonight. No, instead I'll do another speed run of Mega Man 2. No, I probably won't do that either. <laughs> I remember that the version I gave of the DOS version actually to, um, to uh, Psychedelic Eyeball. Uh, the DOS version's ending, all of this text scroll was super sped up, and it was funny as shit. <laughs> the credits lasted like 10 seconds, and then immediately the spiel of Sigma at the end. Because, <laughs> oh no spoiler, there is a text spiel from Sigma at the end, saying that he's gonna come back. And of course he did. Many, many times. Eight times, and then he finally dies in eight. Spoilers! Well, to be honest, I don't fully remember the story of eight, but wasn't it like... just a replica or something that was actually controlled by the other guy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell is going on? Okay. I'll just let people enjoy this ending for a little bit. It's interesting how that in some of the later games you get to see the power levels of each character. I think they show them uh, later on in these credits actually.
You mean Mega Man Extreme? Uh, I think I've played them once each. And, I mean, other than the fact that you have to use uh, double directions to dash, they're not the worst games, honestly. Yeah, every time I see that they showed the power levels, I just really wanted someone to just make an animated video of what of like Va Vile and Spark Mandrel doing the whole over nine thousand thing. <laughs> Vile, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over, it's over nine thousand. What nine thousand? I remember in uh, X6, in the bad translation, it's like, ZELO! <laughs> Not only that, but then you have what... And that's a mention. Mega Man, Mega Man X. Also a translation in one of the, the PlayStation X games that Cygnus says blast off instead of fire. And every time he says it, it's like, IT'S FIRE, YOU IDIOT! <laughs> so much for a command reploy. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder what this ominous TV screen in the background is all about. Professor F. I wonder what the F stands for. Professor Forte? It's actually Professor it's Alex actually Ken. base. <laughs> Professor Forte. Professor Phallic Man. And I'm just gonna Professor stay on this Martin. screen for a little bit. Because, uh, yeah. Mega Man X is kind of a part of my childhood. Honestly, when I originally played, it was an emulator, because I never got a cartridge. But, uh, I have some fun memories of it, even though I'm pretty sure back in the days, we would be, uh... We would be a disappointment to that one guy, because I'm pretty sure we just cheated our way through with the infinite weapon and energy and all that stuff, so... And also, no, we did not know how to do the Hadouken after we got it, so... <laughs> yes, yeah, so we will see you... see us soon. If I decide to do X2 anyways. Cause yeah, I'm not going to that one tonight, cause I... To be honest, X1 is the one I know the most, cause uh... I know the best route to go through it. You start with Penguin, you go through Storm Eagle to get the helmet, and then you immediately go to Flame Mammoth to get the X-Buster upgrade, and then you go through the normal order. It's basically all. Oh, I've uh, played all of this recently. I will say though, somehow I picture if somebody wanted to, I would love to see just Sigma's Robo br brain doing the whole. Only I have the brains to rule the earth. But yeah, that's that's Mega Man X one. It is still it. It's still pretty good, honestly. Uh, I remember seeing a few speedruns of it, and it's crazy what they're able to do with this game. Uh, like, the the door before uh, Armadillo in the third Sigma stage 
If you use the charged up shotgun ice, you can actually bypass the whole fight. It's pretty crazy to actually see. But, uh... An hour 47 minutes, yeah, I... Th to be honest, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, it was it was a pretty good idea, actually, to do this tonight. Uh, so, thanks everyone for having watched, and thanks for Mike for having joined for co-commentary. Remember... If the robots start invading again, call the Maverick Hunters at 818. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best number everyone should call. <laughs> Not sure how that actually translates.